Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm Shuri Fon. You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Shuri Fon. May the Lord bless you. I hear this word that they love you too much to let you go. They are ready to do anything. They love you too much to let you go. They are ready to do anything. You see, while I'm saying this, I'm seeing the story of Rachel and Leah. Someone saw you at first sight. They wanted you, they loved you, but they made a mistake along the line. And they had a choice. They had a choice to settle with their mistake and let go of you, or to still fight for you. And they made up their mind to fight for you. I'm saying this because this word is clear. Yes, they made a mistake. Yes, it was you they wanted from the start. You know about this. You guys connected. You guys liked each other. You guys made plans. But along the line, there was a mistake. This person made a mistake. Something he did not plan to do. Something that happened accidentally. I don't know exactly what they did. But they had the choice to settle with what happened. Apologize to you and part ways. Yet they've made up their mind to fight for you irrespective of the cost that this will be irrespective of what this will take they've made up their minds to fight for you you see sometimes there are mistakes that happen not because people plan them there are mistakes that happen because we are humans there are things that may go wrong because we are humans and sometimes there are things that may go wrong because of destiny. Because of destiny. You sometimes God might want to test a person to know how, how, um, how serious they are about their destiny. And sometimes the devil too. The devil will set a trap against you. He will set a trap against you to see if you will pursue destiny or you decide to settle for the available. Sometimes, the end, you know, I'm saying this now and the word is, is opening up in my spirit. Sometimes the devil will set a trap for you and watch you and see if you will die in your mistake or if you will still rise and follow after your destiny. I, I, I'm saying these words now and they are coming alive in my spirit. They are coming alive in my spirit. And that is why I said the other time that the devil doesn't bring does not bring to you what you're not looking for. He will never bring to you what you're not looking for. That's why you must understand that the counterfeit and the original are similar. There is something about the counterfeit and the original. If you're not a, a man of the spirit, if you're not discerning, you might think that that is the original, not knowing that you are settling for the counterfeit. So you might make a mistake and the mistake is so grievous against your culture, maybe. Maybe against your, your rules and your regulation as a person. Against your principles. And the devil just catches you at that particular point to see. And then he's there waiting for you to just give up on every other thing and settle for that and drown in your mistake. And if you're able to stand tall and decide to still chase after destiny, then you've conquered. I'm giving this word because this person has made up their mind. They have made up their mind to, to, to go after you, irrespective of what it may cost. Yes, they made a mistake, but that was not a voluntary one. It was an involuntary mistake they made. But they have chosen their destiny over that mistake. They have chosen their destiny over that. They had a choice. I'm saying this because it's clear. They had a choice to settle for that. They had a choice to stay where they were. I, I, I'm talking, you know, the story of Jacob, Rachel, and Leah. Jacob would have married Leah and made up his mind to stay with Leah and no Rachel. He would have said, okay, Rachel made a mistake, but it's not my fault, you know, because it was clear. It wasn't Jacob's fault. It was Rachel's family who did that. So he would have clearly said, I made a mistake. And I'm sorry, but I cannot marry you again. I will settle for this. But yet, he saw that the force of destiny was stronger. You see, if this story is about you, your family, your relationship, I want you to pray. Pray for this person. Not every mistake a man makes or a woman makes was voluntary. 
Sometimes they found themselves, they found themselves there because of a, because it's a demonic trap. Sometimes they were just weak at a certain demonic plot. Sometimes it was just the environment, the spur of the moment. They said the wrong words. They did not mean what they said. The pressure of the place got them to that place where they said what they said or did what they did. What you can do for them now is pray for them. You might not make it obvious to them that you are comfortable with your mistakes or you are settling down with your no. But I want you to pray for them. That God will give them strength to, strength to chase after destiny. Because this is important. It's important. I just began to speak this word and I felt in my heart that people can make mistakes not because they want to. But the devil can set a trap for them. So that they will fall into that mistake and they will remain there. And they will forego their destiny. But this person has chosen to chase after you because you are their destiny. They know that you are their God sent. They are the middle of their mind to chase after you. So you need to pray for them for strength not to give up along the way. Father, thank you for this person. Thank you for this man and this woman who has made up their mind to go after their destiny. I pray that you will strengthen them. I pray that you guide them all through the way. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I love you. See you soon. Shalom.